What's up guys and girls and welcome back to the second part of the Programming Alexa in Python series. So in this video we'll build off of what we learned in the first part and we'll kind of get into the more complex uh, Alexa skill development features. So we'll start this video off by looking at how do you use intent slots. Then we'll move into the best practices for debugging your Alexa skill. Then towards the end of the video we'll get into uh, storing session attributes and allowing yourself to kind of maintain information over the duration of your Alexa skill, I guess, conversation. We're going to start from right where we left off in the last video, so make sure to open up the same Alexa skill that you are working on and also the AWS Lambda code that was associated with that skill. If you've lost your code from the first part, I have a link to the finished code at the end of the first part in, on my GitHub page. The link to that is in the description. And just to give you some context for this video, in the first part, we were working on compliments. In this video, we will be having some fun and uh, building some insults for Alexa to say with our app. And if you have any questions as you watch this video, make sure to just drop a comment down below and I'll be sure to get back to you as quickly as possible. All right, enjoy the video. Okay, so to begin this intent, we're gonna do it just in a very similar manner as the compliments intent. Go to build in the Alexa skills kit and click on intents and add an intent. And we'll call this one insult. So, and I'm gonna add a, a little bit of complexity to the insult. I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna add one of these intent slots. So intent slots allow you to save part of your, in, like your message, such as a name, a, you know, day of the week, a movie name, a sports team, all sorts of like noun entities that you might want to save and then use in your response. You can do it with these intent slots. So I'm going to just call this name and the slot type will be, I'm going to see if they have a name built in. So uh, DE first name, GB first name. Uh, I don't know what the difference is between these. You, oh, Great Britain first name, think I'm gonna say US first name not quite sure what DE is what would that be who knows oh shoot am I filming yep I'm filming okay US first name and now what you can do with this is I could say something like in my sample utterances can you insult name and it will kind of save whatever you say in that format. Um, say something mean about name. And I don't, you know, I don't know if I encourage these insults, but I don't know. It's just kind of a fun way to just play around with learning about developing for Alexa. Um, insult name. What it, can you trash talk name? That's like four different ways to, to insult someone, right? To ask for an insult. So save model and build model. And now we're gonna go to the Lambda Management Console. I'll make the text a little bit smaller just so I can navigate it a little bit easier. Lambda handler, we're gonna to want to add an intent here in the on intent. So I'm gonna do LF intent name equals equals insult return get insult response. And I have not defined get insult response yet, so we'll do that right now. Okay, so what we can do for this too is we already have get compliment response. This will be in the same format basically. So just copy that function and paste it right below. And now change the name to get insult response. And you could do, we'll just uh, make it just one word for now. Like is a dweeb. He is a dweeb. And we'll actually replace he with the name, or he or she with the name they have. So compliments, we'll delete that. And 
I said he is a dweeb. This will be card title insult. All right, so we're now starting to get get ready. We're getting into the kind of complicated stuff. So you might have to rewatch this, pay attention, etc. So all right, so this is built successfully, so I can go and test this. All right, Alexa, run conversation application. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. Alexa, insult John. I'm, I apologize in advance. He is a dweeb. If there's a John watching, it's nothing. It's, it's all in the name of education. Uh, it's nothing personal, bro. I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, John's a dweeb. He is a dweeb. Okay, so you can see that this intent is working, and I could still do something like, Alexa, I need to pick me up. You always make me smile. So that's still working. We have these separate intents now. So the first thing we'll do is we'll actually grab from um, Alexa, from the Lambda handler, the name John. So I could say John is a dweeb instead of he is a dweeb. So to capture John, go back to the code here in the uh, Lambda console and go all the way down to the bottom. So in the bottom, you can see, or actually not all the way to the bottom, but actually to the intent, on intent handler. So one of the things that we save here is in the intent request, we actually grab the intent name right here. And so using this intent name, or I guess this is the intent object. In the intent object, we are storing the intent slot that we defined just a second ago. The intent slot we defined was name. So what we want to do is in our insult, we want to pass in the intent. And one thing that might be tricky, and I'm going to show you right now how to handle, is what actually is in this intent. Because right now there hasn't been like a console running that has been showing us, you know, our results here on the Lambda side. It's kind of been like Alexa, I mean, uh, Amazon just knows what to say and we haven't had any errors so that's been pretty nice but you most likely are going to run into some errors when you're dealing with this uh, doing this especially when you're first starting so I'm going to show you how to test your skill right now so I'm passing in so this is what's usually going to happen so I'm passing in intent now so let's uh, rerun our program quit Alexa, Alexa, run conversation application. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. Alexa, give John an insult. There was a problem with the requested skills response. So that's what you'll likely hear. And if you don't know how to test this thing, it's really tough to debug. So what you can do to debug is you can go into the Alexa skills kit. And so the input that caused our error is on the left side here. It's in this JSON object. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and copy all of this JSON, copy it. And I'm going to go to my Lambda console and I'm going to do test. And I'm going to create a new test. So when we do test in the Lambda console, we can create the inputs that it's seeing. So if I create a, um, let's say, insult request, if I create a test event that mirrors is the exact same as the one that the actual the physical input that caused us an error, we can actually do a little bit of debugging easier. So now if I do a test on insult request go down here, we can actually see an error. So, uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. invalid intent, raise value, invalid intent. So, yeah, it's not liking the intent. And the reason for that is if we go to our intent, we didn't actually, in the definition of our intent, 
So right here, get insult response. We didn't actually pass in a parameter of intent. So if we do that and save and then run this test again, hopefully it will work. Let's see, test function logs invalid intent still. Oh, it might have just like completely bugged out a fallback intent. Yeah, it completely bugged out because it didn't even know what to do with it because it wasn't defined. So let me run this again. Alexa, give John an insult. Hmm, I'm not sure. Uh, let me restart. Uh, Alexa, uh, yeah, it actually ends my program when uh, I have an error. So, oops. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not sure. Alexa, run conversation application. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. Tell John an insult. There was a problem with the requested skills response. So there's still an error, but hopefully it's, it's getting the actual right intent now. Let's see. No, it did not. What is happening? Alexa, run conversation application. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. Please insult John. He is a dweeb. Okay, it worked now. Cool. I, I think it was having problems understanding, like, John, give him an insult. Hey, I got a new... There was a problem with the requested skills response. Yeah, so when you're throwing in these intent slots, it gets a little bit trickier. Amazon's not the... the you know, what they provide isn't perfect. So, you know, just keep this in mind. Um, please trash talk. Oh, actually, run conversation application. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. Please trash talk John. He is a dweeb. I'm keeping the name John just because I don't want to hurt too many pe people's feelings here. Um, so, <laughs> so I apologize to John, but yeah, so it, it's working now. It just with when you're starting to use this intent slot, it gets a little bit tricky to actually get it working correctly. But so now if I do with this input response, you see that it has slots, name, name. So the intent is insult and it saves the value John. That's pretty cool. So we can copy this and this is actually going to be our in our Lambda management console. This is going to be our event that we're going to use to test and see what we can kind of do. So uh, to figure test event uh, edit I'm going to just edit the. This one wasn't correct because this was a fallback intent. So I'm going to edit this one. Save. So now if I run this, like it gives me a response that is going to say back. But I also could do something like I could actually print some stuff out. So if I wanted to print out the intent, I could do print intent just to see the actual object. And I could also just print inside the function. This is just to help you debug. So to debug, to say again, whatever input you get, as long as it's like the correct input, copy that, go to your Lambda Management Console, and create a test event that uses that exact same input. And then you can click the test button. And if you go up, all right, did I save it? Oh function logs. Oh my gosh. It's really weird to navigate this for some reason. Get intent response. Yeah, so function logs, incoming request inside the function, and now we actually have the intent object here. So if I wanted to just get the value of John, I could go intent, and then I could go into slots, and then I could go into Let's see, I think it's name, because that's the slot we called it. 
and I could get the value of John. So that was a little bit complicated, but you'll see how it works now. So instead of he is a dweeb, I can do intent slots name, or yeah, the slot was the name slot. And then finally, value. And we'll have to do that plus is a dweeb. So go back and we'll test this now. Alexa, run conversation application. There was a problem with the requested skills response. So now I could go again if I wanted to and test it in here and see what exactly happened. It probably will give me an error message. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. I don't know why it gave me the error the first time. It might have been still in the application. I think that's what happened. Uh, trash talk John. John is a dweeb. So now it says John is a dweeb. Cool. We saved that intent slot and we've used it properly. So the next thing we're going to go through is how to store like session attributes. That's what it's called in Alexa. And the reason we want to do this is if you want to like store some sort of state throughout the duration of your application. So like for example, when I uh, opened with this video, I had that little kind of interaction with Alexa. And one of the things I did was like, I was asking Alexa to tell tell my uh, the viewers to like, like and subscribe. And she, she kind of fought back at me. She, she didn't say it until the third time. And that's because I programmed her to um, not say the actual speech output until I said, please tell you what, like, please tell my viewers what to do three times. So we can do something similar with this insult. So, you know, it's not very nice to insult people. Let's make sure they really want to insult someone before they go ahead and do it. So how we can do this is, yeah, using session attributes. So as you can see, all of these functions have session attributes, but nothing is actually filled in with them. So, in addition to intent with uh, the insult response, we'll actually we'll also pass in, pass in the session. And inside the session, we can get the attributes. So let's say, okay, follow me. So I'm going to delete these print statements real quick. We don't need them. So intent session. And what we're going to do is basically the first time it runs, we'll, we'll change this to like, we'll just call something called uh, insult state. And after it's run one time, we'll set that to one, let's say. And as you can see in the build response, return statement, one of the things we pass is the session attribute, so that's how it kind of stores this. So insult state set to one um, after we run it the first time. And we'll also have to change up how it's called down here. So as you can see on intent, one of the parameters of that is the session. So we can go ahead and just type in session here. And let's see. Okay, now let's go ahead and see what happens. So basically what I want to do is say, so I want to print out the session. Basically what I'm going to want to do is if the insult state is one, then maybe we do something different. Like, so maybe we don't say John is doing the first time. We say it after the second time. So maybe we do something like, Kind of, we'll uh, comment this code out real quick. And we'll just do, actually, should end sessions find being false still. I'm going to copy this and paste it again and just say something like 
first time around, we'll just say, I don't want to. Or maybe something like, that's not very nice, comma, I don't want to. And the reprompt text there would be, I'd rather not do that, let's say. Okay, save that. And now if we go to Electric Skills Kit, I'm just going to quit and do run conversation application. I wish I made this a little bit shorter of a text. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. And I could say trash talk John. That's not very nice. I don't want to. So I'm going to take this response now, and this is going to be our new test response, just so we can see what exactly we can play with within inside the session. So intent insult request. Uh, we'll do configure test events, and I'm going to create a new one. I'm just going to just say in insult request, and I'm just going to call it new. Oh. We'll just call it insult new. And I'm going to paste in what just was sent. Create. And test. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print out the session. So I want to know what's stored in the session. And I'll just to make it easy for me to find that, I'll do print session below now I test it go down below see what it says here All right session below so there's a new property there's the session ID property there's the application user oh, where are the attributes so there's no attributes right now. So that's we're going to need to fix that. So and the reason there's no attributes is because we haven't actually, every time we've set this, it's been blank. So basically, after this first time we set this, the second time around, there will be an additional parameter. So we'll have to do, OK, trash talk John again. That's not very nice. I don't want to. So now, if you look inside of this JSON input response, there's an attributes category. And I can do copy this. I don't even actually have to copy this. But I can know that the reason I'm showing you like the testing is because when you are kind of developing something new, it, you will probably have to test it a lot. But I can go ahead and take the attributes parameter out of the session. So I can do something like if session, and then inside of session, I want to get the attributes, attributes, and then I want to get the, within that dictionary, I want to get the insult state equals equals one then let's change our speed speech output. Let's actually do the John is a dweeb. So let's see what happens now when we uh, test it out. I'm going to quit and start it again. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. I'm sorry, that's getting really annoying. I should change that message. Um, trash talk John. There was a problem with the requested skills response. Okay, so now I can figure out why did we get a problem. So that's why I'm going to do the testing here. And as before, you know, with our testing, uh, just paste in the ins the input that caused an error and then you can kind of debug it inside of lambda using that uh, insult 
new. I'm just going to resave it as until new. So if I run that, let's see the error. Attributes. Session has no thing attributes. And so the reason we're getting this error is because initially you saw that there was no attributes parameter of the session. So this session had no attributes parameter until we actually set the insult state to one, then it magically popped up. So what we'll have to do is we have to actually add another line that just says if session dot get attributes. So this is basically saying if there's a attributes parameter within the side the within the session and just kind of copy the way I'm doing this. I don't know, this is the way I found it online, so I'm just copying that. So if session got get attributes and session attributes insult state equals equals one, let's see what happens now. So now it's so basically this is saying if the attributes parameter exists and the at, the insult state within the attributes parameter equals equals one, then actually say this. If this doesn't exist, it will fail and exit out of this if statement before it ever runs this, so this won't cause an error anymore. So Alexa run conversation application. What up, what up, what up? Your application has started. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to trash talk John. That's not very nice. I don't want to. But if we say that same exact intent again. John is a dweeb. And if I I think it would keep saying it now. John is a dweeb. Cool. And you can add additional, you could add additional like layers to this. You could do it like a one, two, three. Uh, again, in the sake of time, I'm just going to do that one example. You know, it, it requires you to say it two times before it actually works. And something fun I added just to kind of further these insults is if you go to my GitHub page and go to um, in the Alexa Python uh, repo that's linked to in the description and see this insults.py file. Well, this is like, it generates a, this get insult function generates a random insult from uh, from these like Shakespearean type words. I found this from some like MIT article which I thought was kind of funny. So if you take that code, copy it, and then go to your Lambda console, you can add files to that by going to file, new file, and you can just call this something like uh, insults.py. Paste in that code and save it. And also, you don't need that print state, print line. I think that was at the end of that. Yeah, don't don't copy that print line. But you have this now, and in your lambda function, you can now like generate one of these random insults by going to your lambda console, your lambda function, and doing from insults import get insult so that was the name of the function that I defined in there and now so in our thing instead of just saying dweeb all the time we can do insult equals get insult and then instead of doing dweeb we just do is a plus insult and then we use the same thing in the reprompt text said he is a plus insult save that and now when we run it we'll have a little bit of fun I think I might have to quit first run conversation application what up what up what up your application has started trash talk John that's not very nice I don't want to trash talk John please John is a villainous shark born vassal. Yeah, so now you have some uh, fun insults uh, that are a little bit more unique and diverse. Uh, I, I just said a word that means the same thing. All right, we're going to end this video here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this video, make sure to throw it a big thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss videos like this in the future. Uh, I guess a quick note before we completely finish is if you're trying to put this on your Echo Dot or your, you know whatever Alexa device you have, all you have to do is download the Alexa app on your iPhone or Android and connect 
to your your physical device with the same email you use to program this skill, and then it automatically will be connected to your skill. So you can just literally say like run conversation application to your Echo Dot, and it will know once you've connected it to the same email. Also, if you needed to ex install an external library, like let's say you were trying to make an API request using the requests library within Python, sometimes easy to just, you can't just do like a pip install with AWS Lambda. So I'll put a couple links on how to install a external library with AWS Lambda in the description. So check that out if you are looking for that. All right, that's all I have. Peace out guys, see you in the next video.